Hi, my name is Sasha. I run the 800, the 1500, and the 5000, and I hope one day to run the marathon. Uh, if you'd asked me that 10 years ago, I think I would have said I'd like to run the 1500 at the Olympics, but today I think I'd like to break the Canadian record in the marathon. I think my age makes me different. I mean, I, I'm coming at this from a much older age. I'm turning 34 this year, and I don't think most 34-year-olds are chasing young 20-year-olds around the track. But my training age is really young. I mean, I've really only been back for about a year now training super hard, uh, and I think it separates me from my competition. I don't think I'm quite as mentally burnt out as the rest of them, and I'm really fresh and really loving what I'm doing. I think like all distance runners, injuries kind of have plagued me in the past and I quit when I was in second year university, I stopped running. I had three stress fractures in my shins and I just, I couldn't get it back together and I started to gain weight and I was just really unhappy. And when I came back to this, I said, I'm never going to get to that point again. And I mean, in inevitably injuries happen and you know, I've suffered a couple this year, but I got through them and I just remembered how much I loved running and I let things heal. Um, so while they've been a challenge, they've also kind of been a strength. I love the freedom of running. I've been in other sports before, but there's nothing quite like being in a trail by yourself with your own thoughts. And there's nothing quite like hammering it out on the track. I mean, you just, you can't work with a group of people the same way that you can on the track. And it's, it's so rewarding and it's so much fun. Uh, as much as it hurts, it's so much fun. This year, the 4x8 team on the indoor track, we broke the Canadian record. Not just the university record, but the Canadian record. And it's something really special to share a victory with your teammates that way. I mean, it's one thing to be in a race and have your teammates medal with you and to share a podium, but it's a very different thing when you all walk away having accomplished something together. It's one of those moments I can visualize again and again and again and just smile from year to year. A record nobody thought would ever get broken, and the University of Toronto has just obliterated it. I remember before the 1500, the coach is saying, you know, you really don't have to run. Like, we, we've won the banner, and thinking, no, I have to run. I, I committed to doing this. I have to at least try, or I can't live with myself. And I really tried to win that race, and I finished second, but I gave it all I had at the end. And, you know, I, that really was one of those sort of proud moments that really makes me smile. When I found out that Pan Ams was in my backyard and I was back and running, you know, I was like, okay, well, I want to run fast, but it'd be pretty cool if I made that team. And then sort of always in the back of my head is, I'd really like to make the Olympics. And when I decided that that was what one of my goals was, it was I quit being a consultant. And so I had that, you know, nine to five job where I was making great money and, you know, I've given all of that up now uh, just to run and to try and chase after this dream. And I mean, it's way more expensive than I ever had imagined and I think part of that is is that it's not just the running there's so much more it's those those little things that that make you different than your competitors and and help you recover I, I thought at first you know like oh I could get a part-time job and work 20 hours a week but I don't even know when I'd fit that in I mean I've committed myself to doing this and I'm like I have to do everything right so I've committed to the massage therapy to the strength trainers to the being at the track to traveling to getting to those places that that will make me faster A lot of people go home at night and they dream of being something, you know, little kids, astronaut, you know, fireman, whatever. And growing up, I always dreamed of, of being a runner and I didn't really know what that meant until I came back to it now. And being an athlete has just been so important to me and it's been so fulfilling and I've loved every minute of the process. <laughs> 